You are such a scumbag. Get out right now. I don't even want to see your face. My husband, who believed my mother-in-law's lies, says so and kicked me out of the house. Susan, my mother-in-law, is laughing at me as my husband kicks me out. I don't care anymore. If she's acting like that, then I've got my own plans too. I'm going to send them both to hell. My name is Camilla. I'm 32 years old and I work as a nurse. I have been married to my husband Josh for three years. I have to work night shifts and I'm very busy at work, but my husband is very understanding and treats me kindly. I'm home. Hey, looks like you were pulling another late night at work, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. One of our patients is not doing so great right now. No choice but to accept it. That's just how it is. It's hard work being a nurse. <sighs> Thanks, Josh. I'm sorry, but I bought some side dishes for dinner at a store. It's okay, I like their side dishes. I got some bread cut up ready to be toasted, and I made some soup too. Wow, thank you. That's great. My husband helps me by doing simple household chores like this. I really appreciate this kind of thing when I'm especially busy with work. Josh is always there for me, and I believe I chose a wonderful husband. It's been three years since we tied the knot, and my husband's been super sweet, helping us have a great bond. I thought we'd keep being happy together, have kids, and make a cozy home. But then something happened that made our relationship slowly start to shift. It all happened one day. Me and my husband were just lounging around at home on a holiday when Susan, my mother-in-law, called. Hey, mom. What's up? I'm sorry to call out of the blue, but there's something that's been bothering me. What do you mean? Something that's bothering you? Actually, your father is acting strange. He's acting strange. Um, he's acting a bit forgetful and confused. What? Are you serious? He hasn't forgotten my name and all, so I reckon it's not a big deal. But, even so, I'm anxious about what may happen in the future. Yeah, well, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. Thanks, sweetie. Josh then gave me a heads up that my father-in-law might have dementia after talking to his mom. I hope Dad is doing fine. I'm worried about him because he's been so healthy until now. I wish I could do something for him. Yeah, I wish there was something I could do. If there is anything I can do, I'll help. Thank you, Camilla. I researched the top dementia hospitals and got some recommendations for my fellow nurses. I was totally prepared for anything that could happen at any moment. But things took an unexpected turn. It all started with something my husband said. One day, my husband said he wanted to talk to me. What did you want to talk about? I was just sitting with my husband at the dining table, sipping on some coffee after dinner. While mixing the sugar and cream with a spoon, I look at my husband. Then my husband says something outrageous. I'm thinking of moving in with my mom and dad. <laughs> Sorry, what? We're moving in with your parents? I stopped holding the spoon in my hand. What's up with the out-of-the-blue idea of living with your parents? I told you that my dad is suffering from dementia, didn't I? Well, it looks like his symptoms are getting worse. My mom is finding that really tough to handle. So I figured that moving back in with my folks was the best plan. Doing that will make it less likely for dad to get dementia, and we can take care of it right away if something goes wrong. Camilla, you'll be on board for my dad's sake, right? Uh, um... Huh? You said you'd help before, right? Well, yes, I did. The way I agreed to assist him was in finding a hospital for his dad. 
I didn't mean it for us to live together, nor did I give him any permission to live together with his folks. So you don't want to live with my folks? You don't really care about them? Is that it? N no, it's not like that. Then it's fine to move in with them, right? So now, I'm stuck living with my husband's parents because of him. I wasn't too keen on the forceful way he did it. I couldn't believe my gentle husband would make me live with his parents like this. But until now, my husband has been great, being understanding about my job and helping out with chores. I wasn't completely convinced by how forceful he was this time, but when I remembered all the kindness and support I've gotten from him, I started considering moving in with my husband's parents for his sake. I guess I had to tell myself that to make it seem okay. I went to tell my folks that I had decided to move in with them. Oh, I see. It's not easy taking care of someone with dementia, and I see why you want to lend a hand as a family. But don't strain yourself too much. You can always come home if you need anything. There's a place for you here. Thank you, Mom and Dad. So we ended up moving in at my in-law's place. I can't wait to start living with all of you today. Yes, same here. I'm sorry to be pushy, but can you get lunch ready for us? Ah, yes, all right. Since it was just around noon, I immediately started to prepare for lunch. Then my parents-in-law and I had lunch together. Afterwards, I was unpacking after washing the dishes when my father-in-law, Dan, suddenly spoke to me. Have you fixed our lunch yet? Excuse me? Hey, honey, we just had lunch, didn't we? Huh? We had lunch already? Yes, we did. Come on, let's go back to the living room and not bother her while she's unpacking. Thank goodness Susan was there to help, but... I realized Dan was going through dementia. He's definitely showing symptoms. Maybe I should refer him to a hospital as soon as possible. I'm still a little worried about Dad. Yeah, I see what you mean. He hasn't been to the hospital yet, has he? Yeah, it seems like Dad really hates going to the hospital, and we're having a hard time getting him to go. I see. Hmm... This isn't so easy as I thought. I'll do what I can to help. Yeah, thanks, honey. I'm glad that you're my wife after all. You're really reliable. Josh. I was happy that my husband thanked me like that. I still don't agree with the fact that I was forced to live together with his parents. But since we're already doing it, I guess I'll just have to deal with it. I just have to make the best of it. With this in mind, I figured I should talk more with my in-laws from now on. At first, I thought that living together was going well without any issues. My husband talked to Susan about my job situation, and she totally understands and is cool with it. So, on days when I worked nights, Susan took the lead in doing the housework, and she was being very supportive. However, things began to change little by little. Gradually, my share of the housework began to increase. Even on night shift days, Susan asked me to make breakfast, and I was responsible for preparing breakfast for my parents-in-law and my husband the next day before work. This is quite a hassle, and since I also have to cook dinner before work, it's quite physically demanding. And she's getting all strict on me, not just during the night shift. Even on the day shift, if I am even a little late, Susan gets extremely angry. Hey, Camilla, do you even know what time it is? It's already past 6 p.m., you know. I'm starving, so you better hurry up and cook dinner. I'm sorry, I've been working late. Don't give me excuses. You're Josh's wife. You've come to this house to be his wife. So do your part properly. Susan was going off on me for no reason. Susan was only thinking about herself and didn't care about how it affected me. 
When we first started living together, she was pretending to be all nice and innocent. Susan was getting even more unreasonable as time passed. Whenever I brought home pre-made meals because I was too busy with work, she'd be like, We're not eating this garbage! And chuck it in the bin. It's clear you've been treating Josh pretty poorly. But I'm not letting you get away with anything anymore. Oh, I'm going to make sure you learn to be a good wife. Susan would give me a hard time, but it was too extreme when she threw out the food I bought without even touching it. I talked to my husband about it that night. I properly reported in detail the unreasonable remarks Susan had made to me. But my husband didn't agree with me. Isn't that because of your attitude? Excuse me? My mom is a wonderful person. I mean, she's offering to guide you on being a wife, right? You should be grateful about that. Mom's right. It's not right to just buy pre-made meals and side dishes all the time. A normal wife in a normal family would make a proper home-cooked meal. Are you serious? I work the night shift. Then quit your job. What? It's a perfect opportunity to quit your job. If you leave your job and focus on being my housewife, you can handle the household chores and look after our family. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you being serious? Well, I end up saying all these things because you don't do your chores properly. If you hate being nagged about it, then do your chores properly. Okay, fine. I realized my husband wasn't what I thought he was. I thought he would take my side. But I had to prove myself to my husband and Susan by doing my best at housework. I hate losing, so I powered through with a positive mindset. I won't allow them to talk bad about me. With this in mind, I desperately tried to balance housework and my work. But even so, Susan never acknowledged my efforts. The way you clean is so messy. You're so slow at doing laundry, your cooking is terrible, and you're a lousy wife. No matter how hard I tried, Susan never acknowledged me. Instead, she kept on making up more lies to my husband. She made up a whole bunch of lies about me to him, like how I was cheating, gambling, and stealing money from her purse. She went too far, I could totally take legal action against her for that. My husband believed every word that came out of Susan's mouth. What the hell are you doing? How can you call yourself a human when you cheat, gamble, and steal from my mom? <laughs> Wait a minute. You believe everything what your mom said about me? Why would I even consider doing things like that? I desperately tried to defend myself every time my husband accused me of lying. How could he possibly believe Susan's obvious lies? Are you saying my mom is lying? Yes, she is straight up lying. Hey, don't be rude about my mom. She's a kind and wonderful person. My mother-in-law is anything but kind and wonderful. I mean, I've never seen her being kind and wonderful to me. She's tired from taking care of dad. Don't do anything that will stress her out. Why does Josh believe everything my mother-in-law says? I was getting angrier and angrier at my husband. I even thought to myself, if he doesn't believe me at all, then we don't need to be married at all. Then one day, I learned a surprising fact. One day while I was at work, my coworker called me up. She was supposed to be off today. Why did she call me? What did she want? I opened my phone and looked at what's up during my lunch break. There, I found a surprising message from her. Hey, Camilla, I think I saw a guy who looked a lot like your husband, and he was with a young woman. She had her arms around him, and it didn't seem like they were just friends. Does your husband have a sister I don't know about? My hand trembled as I gripped my phone. I didn't know at all that my husband, who I thought was messing around, was actually messing around. He probably thinks I'm cheating on him too, since he was actually cheating on me. I quickly got a PI to look into the situation. 
Then, in no time at all, evidence was gathered. I'm gonna divorce him and get away from that house. I was making various preparations for the future. But then my husband got all worked up and started yelling at me. Hey, do you even know what you did? What are you talking about all of a sudden? I heard you tried to mess with my parents by slipping rotten food into their breakfast. What? I never did that. I mean, the breakfast I made today was... Shut up. Quit with the lies. So like I said, I didn't lie to you. I didn't have time to cook that day, so I just bought a variety of ingredients such as bread, jam, and yogurt and put them in the fridge for them to eat on their own without having to cook. So I didn't cook anything for Susan or Dan. In other words, Susan straight up lied once again about this. But my husband doesn't listen to me at all. You are such a scumbag. Get out right now. I don't even want to see your face. My husband, who fully believed Susan's lies, said so and kicked me out of the house. Susan, my mother-in-law, is laughing at me as my husband kicks me out. I don't care anymore. If she's acting like that, then I've got my own plans too. I'm going to send them both to hell. Fine, I'll leave. I immediately packed my belongings and left their house. Then I went back to my parents' house. My parents were surprised that I had suddenly returned, but when I explained the situation to them, they were furious. That's totally unacceptable. I had no idea they were such a terrible family. Like I said before, you can stay here as long as you want. My parents' nice gestures helped me unwind quickly. I think I was super stressed at my in-law's place. I finally had a chance to relax and give my body a break at my parents' house after a long time. So I started commuting to work from my parents' place. All my things are at my husband's parents' place, but I brought the essentials, so it's okay for now. About a week later, my husband called me, but I ignored him. He kept on calling me so many times, but I continued to ignore him. Then I proceeded to prepare for the divorce. About a month after I left my parents-in-law's house, I visited them. It was a holiday, so my husband was home too. Oh, you're finally home. How's it going? Have you reflected on what you did? You didn't answer any of my calls, so I figured you must be pretty depressed. Well, from now on, I'm going to have you be a full-time housewife and take care of mom and dad. That's the first thing my husband says when he sees me. And Susan's got a smirk on her face while she folds her arms and laughs. <laughs> I'll make sure to point you in the right direction again, so be prepared. Apparently, they think I'm back. They probably think I'm going to get down on my knees and apologize. But I didn't come here to come back to my parents-in-law's house. I came here to divorce my husband. I held up the divorce papers in front of him. Hmm? What's that? As soon as he saw that it was divorce papers, he froze. <gasps> What's going on here, Camilla? You, you want a divorce? Yes, I do. Please, sign here. Wait a minute. It's not right to suddenly ask for a divorce. My husband looks panicked. And his mom seemed to be in a panic as well. Y yes he's right, you know. Don't make the choice to divorce too quickly. Too quickly? <laughs> Just so you know, I thought long and hard about this. Josh did something terrible that made it impossible for us to keep going as a couple. What do you mean that I did something terrible? Stop acting clueless, you cheater. Um, what? As I shouted that, I confronted him with a photo evidence of the affair. <gasps> this is... It's a picture of you going into a hotel with a young woman. You can never get away with this now. I'm ending our marriage due to your cheating and I will be seeking alimony. Oh, no. Wait, wait a minute. I won't allow you to divorce him just like that. You have an obligation to help us as a wife. Josh can't say no to the divorce since he cheated on me, and that's why it's happening. Divorce is final. If you want, we can take this to court and fight it out. All right? D take this to c court? My mother-in-law lost it once she heard the word 
court. And she was frozen, as if she couldn't say anything more. I just came to pick up the rest of my belongings today. In the first place, I already knew that Dan's dementia was also a lie. I could hear you and Dan talking from your room the other day. I heard you say I knew that if I told Josh and Camilla that Dan needed care, they would have to move in with us, and that this whole plan worked out well. I also heard you complimenting Dan on his great performance, pretending to be forgetful and showing symptoms. I mean, Dan really didn't have dementia, right? That's why he stubbornly refused to go to the hospital. <laughs> That's uh. Susan was really upset because I saw through their lies. With that, I packed up my things and left their house. Then I got into my dad's car, which was waiting for me outside, and went back to my own parents' house. After that, through my lawyer, I divorced my husband and demanded alimony from him and his mistress. I was paid thirty thousand dollars each. My ex-husband got into huge trouble when the affair came to light at his company. It seemed that his mistress was the wife of his boss. The whole situation became a huge mess, and my ex-husband was demoted to a local branch with a reduced salary. It's all his own fault, and it's a great feeling to know he's suffering right now. And then Susan was also punished. It seems like she got a bad back and had to be hospitalized for a while. So there was no one left to do the housework, and Dan had to take care of everything by himself. But Dan, who can't cook or clean at all, or can't make a living. And since he can't cook for himself, he eats pre-made meals and side dishes from the groceries every single day, which has made him sick and unhealthy. And now he had to be hospitalized because of that. It's a great feeling to see their whole family suffering. Meanwhile, I'm working harder than ever now that I'm single and back home, where I can devote myself to my work. Because of this, I've been offered a promotion. Since I don't want to be in a relationship for a while, I'm going to keep working hard. Earning a lot and saving more and more money. Thank you for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.